Welcome everybody, Holly Clear, social media advisor, coming to you live today with a very new and wonderful friend of mine. I would like to introduce you to Beth of Pure Bliss Virtual Solutions. Welcome, Beth. Thank you. Hello. I am so excited to bring you here because we've gotten the opportunity to connect through an amazing network called Weibo, Women Entrepreneur Business Owners. And the coolest thing about this is, is it's a networking group of people who are wanting to accelerate their business to the next level. And finding you was a very special treasure because I don't have anyone in my circle who does exactly what you do. And your service is so valuable to so many business owners right now. Definitely. Thank you. And it's, this, it's a mutual thing. Um, I haven't found somebody that I trust and that has the structure that you have. So I'm super excited to work with you as well. So <laughs> I do. So we're going to start off by asking a really fun question. Okay. And I would love to know <clears throat> who is your favorite superhero and why? So I am a huge Disney fan, like diehard Disney fan, which means Marvel is my my go to. So I'm not a DC fan. Uh, but my my favorite superhero is uh, Captain Marvel. She, yeah. yeah, no, right? She's um, pardon the language, totally badass, uh, <laughs> but um, pretty much invincible. Yes. Um, awesome, all around the world, awesome, and um, yeah, yeah, I love her. I love her so much, and it's it's kind of how sometimes I want to channel that invincibility. So <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love yes. women empowered to be strong and courageous and yes, so valuable. So let's talk about you a little bit. Let's uh, tell me about who you serve, what you do, what value you add to the community. Yeah. So um, a little background about me is I um, have been in corporate for about 12, 13 years. Um, doing, I started young, I started right out of pretty much high school, um, with a big girl job. And I, I come from the, a military brat background as well as corn. So I'm from the Midwest, uh, just outside St. Louis area. So I went through the whole corporate thing for years, um, got my proving ground of admin work for a bunch of different industries and, um, fell in love with CRM stuff, mm. um, as well as like team support. So um, I had munchkins and that kind of led me to um, start something from home, um, kind of along with that Captain Marvel thing. My munchkins are girls and I am very much like want to empower women, want them to know like, yeah, that they, they can do whatever they wanted to do. And that if that they want to start, a business or start whatever their dreams are that they can achieve that. So I wanted to show them me being a strong woman and doing something on my own and letting them know, like, you got this. So exactly. that is kind of where it started. Plus I wanted to be able to stay at home with them. Um, so I started kind of freelancing as a VA um, and just kind of learn more of a virtual. I had worked virtual every now and then uh, through my corporate job um, and went from there. It just kind of took off. I got clients who um, just wanted to keep working with me. Um, and I found that a lot of small business entrepreneurs, people just starting out, um, were very disorganized with their leads, with their funnels, with um just tracking all of that. And they have piles of business cards, for example, just hanging out on their desk and oh. opportunities. <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, when you get those little tote bags from um, trade shows and all of that, and you have like business cards just hanging out there and you're never going to use that tote bag again. <laughs> right. So um, I help them get all of that into a system to help track that and um, turn those business cards into like, revenue. Um, and, and, support them as well with other tasks because they're getting bogged down with just um, invoicing, document creation, keeping up on their email and their agendas. A lot of people just need like, give me a, a list, give me a task list for the week. I don't know what I'm doing. I just need to go do my thing. Um, and yeah, that's where we come in. So I help not, not only with that admin side of things, 
um, but CRM as well. So, and that's customer relationship management system. So it's, it's a fancy big word. A lot of people are intimidated. It's not that intimidating. Once you get in there, we show you how to use it. We show you best practices and, um, yeah, so that's that's my passion. Um, I think a lot of people need it. A lot of entrepreneurs need it. And you can search the internet and just stress out about it. So absolutely. Kind of focus is, so. Well, I think we talked about you work in any CRM system. Yeah, so uh, my main kind of my go-to um, for a lot of small businesses only because it offers a very robust free system. Um, I'm like, if you can get it for free, don't pay for that, um, especially when you haven't done something before. And so you're very new to it. You don't want to invest money and then be like, yeah, I don't like I don't like how this works. Um, so I want to start you out with something that gets you the idea. So HubSpot's kind of my go to. Um, it's not everyone. Maybe you know what how you like data. You maybe you you don't want to use it you don't like the layout it's pretty straightforward and intuitive system um so that's why i start there um but if we start talking and i'm like no you need more capabilities or something i, I try to pick other things that work better for you with maybe a lower entry cost so yeah and sightly zoho um familiarity with a lot of other ones um so i wouldn't call myself an expert in any one of them but they all pretty much operate the same um, and I've used all a lot of other systems. Salesforce is a huge one. So, um, yeah, yeah, that's a really valuable experience, especially yeah. with those really big, cumbersome systems. You know, to be able to to re just rely on you to say, okay, so here's my box of business cards. Let's get all those into the system. Let's come up with some messaging, so I don't have to worry about that piece of my marketing, and then reporting and looking at analytics and the administrative tasks of kind of organizing life. I think that's so valuable because that's not, that's not in everyone's skill set. <clears throat> right. Right. Data, data is my thing. Um, I love data and I love analyzing all that data and, and numbers, numbers mean so much. What are you going to do? You know, maybe you have something that's not working and you're not going to know that unless you have a data to back that up. So yeah, yeah. Cause or else you're just throwing spaghetti at the wall being something sticks. Exactly. Exactly. And that's a waste of your energy and your time. And if you're investing in advertising and marketing, um, especially with like some like someone like you and, and you don't have that data to back back it up, then you're just wasting money on. And that's not my thing. Um, yeah, you're wasting money, you're wasting time and time is so valuable. Exactly. So that falls nicely into my next question for you. Um, what is a business struggle that you have had to overcome since starting this business that you would want to teach yourself or teach others about just the, the proper ways to get started? Yes. Yeah, so I started very much. I'm kind of an all in person when I want to do something. Um, I'm committed and that's what I do. Um, and I never started a business before. Right. And so you you think that you have to have all of this in place before you get started. And so I was just completely overwhelmed with um, getting getting the perfect name, getting the perfect, you know, all that businessy website stuff, getting all of your systems and procedures in place. And while you need to have a lot of that, knowing what, what to do when you do get a client on and having some kind of starting point, you don't have to worry about all the details and mechanics and getting it perfect right out the gate. A lot of that you learn as you go. Um, I didn't really come upon my my niche or niche or however you want to call that um, until I okay. <laughs> I started on um, you know just virtual assistants and didn't really you know come come to the whole CRM thing as a focus. I have people come like, oh, can you get this organized? I'm like, yeah, sure, but I didn't think that was going to be like my thing. Um, so I, I just kind of niched down as I went and therefore my processes changed it. And I just revamped my whole website. Um, so I need some tweaking. I know I'm so stoked about it. Um, had a logo I wasn't really happy with a logo's not make or break your business, but I thought I have to have something, you know, you have to have that in place. Um, and you don't. And so I, I just want to let everyone know, um, you can come from no background of starting your own business or knowing anybody who started their own business and, and you're fine. Um, don't feel like you have to know every in and out of business and marketing and all of that stuff. Um, 
have an idea, have a well thought out kind of basic plan of how you want to attack things and, and go forward. And then just roll with the punches. You know, you can revamp a lot of stuff um, as you go. So Yes. So good. <laughs> that was one of the things for me too. Um, my business changed twice over the last 15 years and it was, it was a virtual back office company for telecom agents at one point. And then mm -hmm. it needed to shift into something different. And I didn't figure out until I, I had an idea of what would be awesome, but I didn't figure out until I actually started to do the work, what things I really liked and what things mm -hmm. I, were in my true genius zone. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, being able to fall in love with that piece and own that and then be able to bring people in is so valuable. Um, I love your logo. Super hot. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Yeah. I, I was <laughs> nervous, but I'm like, that speaks to my soul. So, yeah. <laughs> yes. And I will for sure be sharing all your contact information in the chat messages below. Oh but if you want to check her out before we're finished, it's pure bliss virtual solutions is the business name and uh you'll you'll know it you'll see her you it's a recognizable brand and what i love too is that it's it's smart fun and sassy and you're getting things done and you can see that in the image itself so it's it's really cool that you put that together and thank you the nicest thing about what you're talking about as far as building a business is being connected to community where you can learn the skills that you're mentioning, you know, you don't have to know marketing. You can connect to a community where you can learn how to do that. You don't have yes. to, to have accountability partners right out the gate, but it makes such a difference when you do. Right. So yes. Yes. even um, even having that support network of Weibo, for example, is fantastic as an additive to, to what you're doing on your daily. Yes. That has been probably huge. Um, just having access to a bunch of women who have been, in their own businesses for years um have maybe ran several businesses at once and they, they know right why reinvent the wheel and they've just been so open with helping um and giving you advice and mentoring me and um it's it's been great i had tried you know i know this is kind of a plug for weba but uh, <laughs> i've tried so many other networking groups and while i met some wonderful women through that um and men as well um Weibo has kind of been my perfect thing. Um, so, and the professional development things that they bring in to help with all of those little tidbits of business that I don't know um, has been invaluable for sure. I completely agree. And that's, that's one of the greatest things about being able to connect with you through there was I have clients who have, who need what you offer. And had I not been connected to this network, I would not have known that aspect of you, you know? And so that that's going to be a huge opportunity for me to be able to introduce to my clients as well. So it's wonderful. What do you feel um, are the biggest benefits that you could provide to a business as far as growth in this year? Yes. So um, as I mentioned before, CRM um, tracks, not it's not just a contact database, right? Not where you just keep people's addresses and like that old school Rolodex, if you remember that, um, where all those little cards roll around. Um, it, it's way more than that. Um, you can track where that conversation is with someone um, from meeting someone to moving them into, yeah, they're interested in hearing about what you do and your services to um, that next step of like, okay, let's have a conversation about that and what you're looking for um, all the way through that whole sales process to closing someone um, mm -hmm. and, and getting however you work, whether it be a contract or just, you know, um, a deal or however you operate um, and, and closing that. And so you're turning that person that you met or just had a brief conversation with to revenue, right? Um, and that's why we're all in business, you know, whether or not that's, you know, what you want to admit, you know, you want to make revenue. Um, and so that that's where that comes into play. Um, and that's what makes your business grow. Right. Um, so that's, that's huge. And that's kind of been my, my focus. Um, there's a lot of other things that come into play with the CRM. Um, many of them, you can start doing a marketing campaign through in a very simple, straightforward, um, email blast to people and track your subscription lists and all that kind of stuff. So, um, it's, it's a good one-stop shop. Um, for a lot of that kind of thing. Um, and 
and it's great. And then you could start reporting on that. And you're seeing, okay, here's how many people I've closed this year and have actually gave me money. Um, so here's kind of my revenue. And I have all these people on deck that I'm talking to and in that process. So here's kind of my forecasted revenue. Um, so you can see where your business is going to land um, later in the year. And if you track all of that properly and accurately, then um, yeah, you can go anywhere with that and you can know, okay, maybe this is something I need to work on more or I need to start pursuing clients more. Um, so yeah, that's that's where I really help you shine. And then um, with the virtual assistant part, just taking a lot of that off of your plate so you can focus on getting those leads and focus on that sales portion and not on invoicing and emails and all of that kind of stuff. So, <laughs> Well, and that's yeah. cool too because like for me, I, I keep KPI reports. I've got my CRM, um, K, K, key performance indicators. Um, mm -hmm. But I only know those indicators based off of my numbers from my database, right? Mm -hmm. Are How many people are opening these messages? How many click-throughs are we getting? How much opportunity closed from it? And, you know, being a business owner or a sales professional in any shape and form, you've got to have some sort of a way to keep track of every engagement that you have. So, mm -hmm. you know, compartmentalizing um, introductions into this is a potential customer, this is a potential power partner, this is someone who's part of my network, not quite sure where they fit yet, through the whole life cycle of everything. And yes. then you can, you can look at your whole year and you can say, okay, so why were we slow in the months of June and July? You should never have a slow month, right? And so if you right. do, let's figure out what were the things that you did leading up to that time that could have been shifted and adjusted so then you don't have a slow season. And unfortunately, a lot of people just don't know that that's a thing that you can track. And you you have to have the systems in place in order to do that. And I love that you are numbers focused. It's so valuable. Thank you. <laughs> so what is something you're going to do this year to reach some of your goals? Um, my biggest goal this year, I know a lot of people put a vision board together um, and I'm not a crafty person. Mine's very much numbers focused. Um, so I kind of just put that in my head. Um, but my big goal is is growth. And that's what I wanted to focus on this year. Um, I wanted to add some people to my team, um, which right now my team, my team is me. And then my kids give me support um, <laughs> with some of my office slash kids craft room. So um, they, they cheer me on from the background and, and make me pretty pictures that I hang on the wall. And um, but I wanted to focus on that. And so we can give people the best service and the best focused attention. Um, so I want to grow a team this year. Um, and I'm I'm right at that that tipping point of where I want want to be so I can start bringing people on. Uh, and making sure my clients have the best services and the best um, access to services available to them. So I love it. Well, and I just see, you know, <laughs> I see your business skyrocketing even further than what it is. I mean, being at a tipping point is, is a huge place, especially because you've been in business for under 12 months. So you're not going anywhere. And, right. and it's just, it's a high demand service that you provide. So one thing I'll do is again, I mentioned that I will put down, some information in the comments below of Beth's contact information, her website, the email address, different places you can get in touch with her. And guys, ch check it out. It's it's really valuable. You know, the, the, I have a coach that says either do it, delegate it or dump it. If you're yes. not doing it, you need to get someone else to do it or take it off your list. And if you have something that's been on your radar for quite a while, why is it not getting done? You know, right. stop moving things from one calendar date to the next calendar date to the next. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's that's virtual assistant territory. That's where you need yes. to get somebody to help you with that stuff. Um, we get all those menial tasks done. Um, you've got a spreadsheet. You've got, you know, things just hanging out. You want a better kind of system streamlining something. Um, and it's just low priority. Like get that done. Make, you know, make your business run more smoothly. Um, or, or get your contacts in order. Um, and if we, you know, we work with some other partners as well, um, marketing field as well, coaching. Um, so yeah, if you know, you need to go beyond that, um, beyond just the numbers portion, we can put you in contact with some great people as well. And you're one of them, um, social media, 
not my thing. Um, and I have a lot of people asking about it, like, oh, that's great. You you do numbers and all of that. Do you do social media too? And I'm like, yeah, no, I'm a numbers person, not a not a create things person. So yeah. um, we live you know, in our space and our stay in our lane, right? And yes, yes. <laughs> you know, one thing I do want to mention is that I do talk to people all the time who are like, oh, I need to bring in a full-time person to take care of all these additional tasks. Well, you look at the cost of bringing in someone full-time versus mm -hmm. outsourcing it to a company that specializes in these skills. It's way more cost-effective than you think. And, you know, especially in this time of, of business and, and, you know, we've got the millennial space, we've got Gen X, we've got baby boomers. Everyone, when I grew up in corporate America, Everyone, you, this is your job. You've got a thousand different tasks that you have to complete. It just, because that's part of your job, right? Right. You want to earn your right. paycheck because you have to do everything. So we, we've got to be put on all these hats and be everything to everybody. Well, when our businesses are structured in such a way where it's so specific that this is the skill and task that we have, you bring in someone that you want to do a bunch of tasks that they're not specialized in. It's going to mm -hmm. cost you in the long run because you're not only paying for their salary, you're paying for their benefits, and then you're paying for their time to learn or procrastinate. And yes. that's why I love the virtual assistant option so much because you are specialized and you do have specific skill sets. And it is way more cost effective than wasting a bunch of time and money on someone who doesn't even enjoy doing the tasks that you've hired them to do. <laughs> right, right. And I've also found that a lot of people think that they need, oh my gosh, I need somebody full time or I need somebody at least part time during the week. And a lot of people overestimate yes. um, that, that they actually need someone. Um, and it's not that, and especially when you get somebody in a specific skill set, they have years of experience doing that. And so you're not necessarily paying for hours that they're on the clock as they are like their experience level. And so we can get things done a lot more more quickly or a lot quicker um, than the average person of bringing somebody on and like you said, learning um, all of that stuff. So it's not as intimidating okay. as a lot of people think. Um, we, kn we know what we're doing, we've done this for a while. Um, and if you get somebody who knows, knows what they're doing <laughs> um, and especially like somebody that's in that specific thing, um, you're gonna save money in the long run and, and your sanity, so. <laughs> Absolutely, totally agree. So what would be the next steps in someone being able to reach out with you and maybe um, take the next step forward to see if they're, if they're a good candidate for you to support? Sure, um, so I offer a free discovery call um, and it's, it's always free um, and that's about 30 minutes. Um, we can either do a Zoom um, or a phone call um, and we chat about what, what you're looking for, what needs you are, um, and what, what you're spending a lot of time on that, that you hate. Um, side note, I do um, suggest everybody to at least get a simple time tracker app like Toggle or something like that and start tracking your time um, individually. Like I'm, and anytime you do like invoicing, click that start button. Anytime you do like emails, click that start button. And then you start seeing and getting a clear view of, where your time is going and what you hate doing. Um, so that gives a good, uh, us a good starting point on seeing that, uh, again, data. Um, but yeah, um, we start with a, a 30 minute call, chat about all that stuff, chat about if you're interested in CRM or maybe you just need an admin person. A lot of people don't need a CRM right away. You don't have that contact base, so don't waste your time on that. Um, so we, we see where you are. And from there, we pick a plan that would be good for you, um, where we can estimate that that time frame, that amount of tasks. Um, we work in packages, but it's kind of like estimated time, right? Um, so we we have two. We have our dainty or three dainty package, our sassy package, and then the Be Betty Davis. So um, <laughs> I love that. Yeah, <laughs> Betty Davis was like the queen of pinups, and so that's our biggest. Uh, VA package that's available. And then CRM stuff is very customized and depending on what you need. Um, so that's definitely a, a case by case basis. Um, so, but we talk about all of that stuff. We get you going. If you're on board, then we have a whole kickoff thing. You're, you're going to get a couple of emails from me, um, some invoicing from me and, and all of that. We have a kickoff meeting where, okay, here's, here's our priority. Here's what I need from you. You're going to get a list of tasks so I can get started. Um, and, and all of that, how we communicate, how we project track, um, all of that stuff. You can be as involved as you want or as, as hands off, just handle my stuff. 
let me know what's going on every now and then, um, or I can keep you updated. So um, yeah, that's kind of where we start. Um, and I have a bunch of ways to communicate with me. You can do um, email is a great way to start. Um, on my website, I have a contact form where you can submit and go ahead and schedule something um, with me. Um, and Facebook is a great way to connect as well. Um, uh, I'm going to be out of town for about a week at the end of this month or at the end of this week. Um, but I'll have my messages there. Um, and if I, I won't be responding because we'll be at Disneyland. Uh, so <laughs> but I get back to you. As soon as I get back in, um, I'm, I'm really responsive when it comes to all of that. So and I'm here to help you out. And if it's not us, if, it, if you're looking for something that's like not in our wheelhouse, like I said, I know a lot of great people and I want you to get the service that you need and pay for the service that you need and not just kind of make it work. Um, so yeah, I'm very transparent and I want you, I care about the people that are coming. So. This is so good. So good. I just love you so much. Thank you. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Yes. <laughs> you guys check out her website and the messages on the Facebook live and it will be listed in YouTube as well. Um, thank you, Beth. I, this time goes by so fast when we're having fun. <laughs> I appreciate you taking time with me and you guys let's be awesome this year in your business incorporate things that and, and people that you don't have the tasks or skill set to incorporate on your own it's so valuable to bring in other people who are specialized in what they do so let's be awesome this year let's build our business and here's to your success thank bye. you see you bye <laughs>